I'm Lane Partridge, the Director of Assessing here in Barnstable. My staff and I have prepared this Barnstable 101 episode to help taxpayers better understand their real estate tax bills. We will briefly cover Proposition 2.5, the valuation process, the change in values from last year to this year, and quarterly billing. Let's get started. Understanding Proposition 2.5. Proposition 2.5 refers to a Massachusetts law enacted in 1980 that places limits on the amount of tax revenue a community can raise through property taxes. This revenue is called the tax levy. Under Proposition 2.5, Barnstable's tax levy limit increases automatically by two factors, an increase of 2.5% of the prior year's levy limit and the dollar amount derived from the value of new construction and other new growth in the tax base since the previous year. The 2.5% increase and in new growth value are added to the prior year's levy limit to reach the current year's levy limit. It is important to understand that the 2.5% increase limitation applies only to the tax levy limit and not to your property tax bill. Valuation of real property. As required by state law, the assessors set the FY 2023 values by analyzing arm's length sales that occurred in calendar year 2021. The average residential parcel saw a value increase of approximately 27% from FY 2022 to FY 2023, as reflected by the strong 2021 real estate market. This does not mean a 27% increase in the average tax bill. Let me repeat that. This does not mean a 27% increase in the average tax bill. The increase in parcel value equated to a significantly lower residential tax rate. Average single family parcel value. In FY 2022, last year's tax bill, the average single family house was valued at 622,133. This year in FY 2023, the average single family house value was $795,025, a significant increase which represents the 27%. As you see in the graph, there's a red section and a brown section. The red is the average single family value. The brown is the average single family value with the residential exemption included or the reduction of the exemption. Average single family tax bill. As we saw on the previous graph, this is a similar one, but showing your tax bill. So it's the tax rate times the value of your property to get your tax bill. The average in FY 2022 was $5,375.23. This year in FY 23, it's $5,620.83. As you can see, the increase in the value of the property did not affect your tax bill. That's because the tax rate was reduced by a similar amount. Real estate tax rate. As you can see from the graph, last year's tax rate was $8.64 for residential. This year, it's $7.07 .07 for the residential rate. This accounts for the small change in your actual tax bill compared to the 27% increase in the value. Why are my first and second quarter payments different than my third and fourth quarters? The first two bills of the physical year, which runs July 1st through June 30th, are the preliminary tax bills. The amount on these first two bills is calculated by taking the previous year's real estate tax bill, less any abatements or exemptions, divided by four. The resulting amount will appear on the first and second quarter bills. The third and fourth quarter bills are the actual tax bills. These bills will show the tax rate for the current fiscal year as well as the current assessment. The amount due on the third and fourth quarter bills is calculated as follows. Take the valuation and divide by 1,000, then multiply by the tax rate. This figure is the total tax for the fiscal year. Subtract the two preliminary tax amounts that were billed. Divide the balance by two. This figure represents the amounts due on the third and fourth quarters. I wanted to also point out a few things on your actual tax bill when it comes. This section at the top of the bill in the middle box is where you'll see the value of your property. 
It's broken out by land value, building value, and total value of the property. The box on the right side at the top shows your actual taxes that you pay. At the very top of the box is the real estate taxes, any special assessments, that would be like a betterment or something like that. And then you have um, the total tax. It is broken out by the preliminary tax and the actual taxes at the bottom of that box showing your third and fourth quarter. If you look at your preliminary bill, you'll notice that the center box where the value is, is not on that bill. It only occurs on the third and fourth bills. Thank you for watching this episode of Barnstable 101. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact my office by phone or email. Our office is also open to the public every day from 8.30 to 4.30. Have a great day.